start, we'll go ahead and take off the sleeve. So within your box, you will find your ACDA. And I'll draw this into my 60 milliliter syringe prior to my blood draw. So for a full 60 milliliters of blood, you will need eight milliliters of ACDA to start. So now I'm gonna go ahead and load my centrifuge. This is your 60 milliliter syringe in which you will collect your whole blood. First, I'm gonna turn on my auto spin in the back left corner. I'll go ahead and open both my doors and I'll pull my arms all the way down by turning to the right and pulling back. Anytime you load any of your syringes onto the auto spin, make sure you are pulling your arms all the way down. I now will take out my disposable from its casing. Make sure this T is facing your body and your elbows are down when loading your centrifuge. If you look at the centrifuge, there's a little window on the front. Make sure this is facing your body as well. If it's not, go ahead and just spin it around to the front. When loading my centrifuge, I'm gonna go ahead and fish my blue cap down into this hole and it will come out the bottom window. Just going to lightly guide the tubing through. As my white piece comes through the centrifuge, make sure if it gets stuck, you're not pulling on the tubing. If it gets stuck, just guide it back up and make sure your wings are facing east and west and it should come right through. Now, with your elbows facing down, place your disposable into the centrifuge. Push down until you hear a click. Attach the T into the front teeth and the tubing under the hook. Make sure your tubing lies straight and is not twisted prior to hooking it up top. Place it into its spot and push your lock to the left. Now you don't want your tubing pulled too tight or too loose, so take two fingers Put your tubing in place. Make sure your tubing is within that divot. And now you're ready to go ahead and close the first door. Once it's closed, you have a green light. Now you can take your tubing and floss it on the right hand side. And now you're ready to connect your 10 milliliter syringe on the left side. Your 10 milliliter syringe will collect your platelet rich plasma. Okay. Whenever connecting any syringe to the machine, make sure all air is out of the syringe. Go ahead and take your blue cap off, being careful not to touch the tip of the white wings. Save your blue cap for the end and clean up. Attach your 10 milliliter syringe. Place your wings in here. Turn your hand to the right and lock in place. Now you can see the green light is on above the number one. Okay, now our centrifuge is loaded and ready for our 60 milliliters of whole blood. The auto spin can run on anywhere from 30 mLs to 60 mLs. For PRP, it is ideal to run on a full 60 milliliter syringe. For that, you want to have eight milliliters 
of your ACDA in the syringe prior to your whole blood draw. So now we've drawn our whole blood, a full 60 milliliters of whole blood, which is combined with our eight milliliters of ACDA, which is our anticoagulant. As I stated prior, when you hook the 60 milliliter syringe filled with your whole blood up to the centrifuge, make sure all your air is out. Remove your blue cap. Save it for later. And be careful not to touch your white wings to the machine or your fingers. Now you're connected. Put your wings in place. Turn your blue handle to the right. Lock your syringe in place and close your second door. Now as you can see, all three lights are green and we are ready to spin our PRP. You can use the plus and minus buttons to select your concentration or your finished volume. You can choose anywhere from three to 10 mLs depending on your desired concentration. For this spin, I'll select six milliliters. After we hit start, our auto spin will start its process. At this stage, the auto spin is spinning at 1,000 RPMs while it's loading your whole blood into the disposable. Once your product is fully loaded, you will not have any remaining whole blood within the 60 milliliter syringe. Now your auto spin is ramping up to 2800 RPMs. At this speed, it will be separating off your waste. The entire process from start to finish takes about 16 and a half minutes. At just over 10 and a half minutes remaining, the auto spin will slow down to about 1000 RPMs. During this time, it will load your waste product into the right syringe, or your 60 milliliter syringe. At just over eight minutes to go, and after your waste has been distributed into the 60 milliliter syringe, the auto spin will ramp up to 3,800 RPMs. At this time, it is concentrating your final product, or your PRP. At under a minute remaining, it will then distribute your final product or your PRP into the 10 milliliter syringe. At just over a minute and a half remaining, the auto spin will slow down to about 1,000 RPMs. At under a minute remaining, it will then load your final product or your PRP into your 10 milliliter syringe. After it's loaded your PRP, it will then load your PPP or your platelet pour plasma into your waste syringe on the right hand side. And now your process is complete. So I can go ahead and lift my second door. Always take off your right syringe first. Take your blue cap that we saved from the beginning, and when you take off your waist, reattach your blue cap so you can keep the centrifuge as clean as possible. Now you can go ahead and take off your 10 milliliter syringe. Take your arm all the way right and all the way back. Take it 
take off your PRP, attach your blue cap, and now you're ready to hand off your PRP to your physician. To clean the auto spin, first I'm going to go ahead and close both my arms. Because my disposable is fully enclosed, it makes the cleaning process very easy. I save my blue caps, put them back on so you don't get any fluid on your machine. The centrifuge can be easily cleaned with some alcohol swabs. I just go ahead and wipe everything down. I also wipe my white wings so I make sure as I take it back through the centrifuge, I don't get any fluid within the system. Once that's all clean, I take that out, lift this up, take my lock over to the right, lift up, and that pops out. Now I just go ahead and lift my disposable, unhook it, and just lightly pull it back through the centrifuge. Okay. Now I close my doors, clean anywhere else that needs to be cleaned, and the process is complete. Thank you.